grow so tall I wanna tangle up my twisted limbs with yours I wanna lose track of the time I spent without you It's time to make you lose I don't wanna lose your Christina from American Root Flower Farm. So I am going to plant some seeds in the soil blocks that I made the other day. Um, I already started planting in them. We are in zone 9B in California in the Central Valley, specifically in the San Joaquin Valley. And we are starting a U pick flower farm, two acres. And I run a backyard flower farm that I've been doing for two years. So let's get started with these seeds. And so right now I'm going to plant straw flower. This is the complete mix from Geo Seeds. I'm also going to plant some Globe Amaranth. I direct sown this last year in this bed over here behind me. Uh, I direct sown it maybe in late spring. It was after I pulled my ranunculus, I direct sown this one. It was one of the last things I planted. planted or started from seed and so it might have been even early summer and it grew just fine being direct sown. However, I've heard that uh, that Gumfrina doesn't do very well um, direct sown. So I am gonna start it in these seed trays. However, I did also plant it out on the farm. I direct sown it and so we'll see uh, how it goes. It was a different variety that I planted on the farm and uh, which was a nicer variety with strawberry fields and white Aubrey White. And uh, so just in case those ones don't germinate, I've got this as a backup plan for now. And then I also have this pack of uh, Mystery Rose. It's a forget-me-not, but it's a pink variety. Uh, it's a it's not a pale pink. It's like a, a soft pink, should I say. It's like a soft pink. It was a really pretty color. So I'm not a fan of forget-me-not because it doesn't hydrate very well uh, after you cut it. And uh, it's really a pain because then you have to stick the stems in boiling water for like six to seven seconds. And it's just a lot more work than what it's worth a lot of the times. Uh, at least I find it to be that way. However, I do want more variety on the Yupik flower farm. So I am gonna plant this just because I have it and I know it can be grown in the summertime. So I will start with the straw flower. And this one you do not cover, it needs light to germinate and it needs the soil to be 70 to 75 degrees. And so I'm just gonna lay it on top of the soil block and then press it in and then I'll water them all in afterwards. Now these don't say the germination rate, so I'm gonna drop two on each cell. These are fun looking seeds. I don't know why they're just, they're not round. They're, they almost look like sprinkles. They look like cake sprinkles or something. Like they look like cupcake sprinkles or candy sprinkles. And straw flower does uh, perennialize here in zone 9B, which is great, which means I don't have to replant it next year if I don't want to. I mean, I may decide that there's a certain color that I want, and so uh, then I would plant them again, right? Yeah. Yeah. To say, I'm already wet. Look at what I did! Hey, hey, hey. See, this oh, well. is why I don't, I don't... I think I still have two more empty rows, so I have... 24 spots on this tray, and then I have uh, 16 over there. 16 and 24. 16 plus 24, what is that? 16 plus 24. 40. 40. I would take me too long to do the math. I just asked Gona instead. He's the one that's good at math. 
All right, let's do the mystery rows. We'll do two rows of this on the big uh, soil block tray and then two rows of the amaranth over there, which is 18 of those and 24 of these. 24 of the mystery rows. So it says uh, lightly cover the seed because darkness is needed for germination. The first time I grew uh, forget-me-nots, I grew it right over here and uh, they actually still are reseeding this year. I uh, came back this year and uh, I think I harvested it, but they, I'm sure they'll still keep popping up. Uh, they reseed really well. And uh, so I know this can be direct sown, but I'm just because I have time here, I'm just gonna do it here and then it ensures uh, a higher a higher chance of um, success. These little seeds, they're not so little, but uh, they are the stickiest things ever. They're, they're like almost thorny. So they got like little hairs on them. And so they will get stuck to, uh, to your clothes or whatever. So you'll find them all over the place. And they'll get to the wash and then they'll be all knotted up in your clothes. So I actually only have one row in here. So I'll do the mystery rows over there because there's more. So my son got the hose and just sprayed all over me. I don't think that the camera was able to see that would have been funny though. But um, uh, no, I'm just soaking wet now. That little butthead. <laughs> Baby, it's not funny. <laughs> oh, and he's coming after me again. Go spray Dexter. Yeah, go spray Dexter. Dexter's by the front. He's right there. I'm too short. I can't see in these things. Oh, no, my hands are wet, so the seeds are sticking to me. Here he comes again. Oh. So I have my defense weapon now. So I have the other hose. And so if he comes over here, I'm just going to scare him with it a little bit. Because he doesn't want to get wet. So it'll scare him away. I have to have, I got to be, I have a quick action here. This is like a holster. No, Mommy. I see. Oh, I look away and this guy runs over to me. Okay, so these ones, uh, the glow amaranth says uh, a quarter of, to start seeds a quarter of an inch uh, deep. And oh, it actually says it soaks seeds overnight. I'm not gonna do that. We'll see what happens. Christina, fun fact, I was in the military. I was in the Navy and it was uh, the Navy's version of uh, military police, master at arms. So this is the remainder of the seed pack from what I planted last year. I don't want you to hurry to get this done before you attacks me again. So I'm dropping two per soil block on this one. Okay, so I gotta get soil to cover these guys. So I'm just covering these with a, a fourth of, I mean a quarter of an inch of soil. I'm just barely putting any on top of the seeds. Just enough to make it dark. I always fear, I don't know if you guys ever feel this way when you're planting seeds, but I always fear that I'm going to cover them up too much. So I'm just going to mist these in. I'm going to turn the mist setting on on this. 
and then uh just miss them in let me move these seeds so, uh, we okay so we finally got these uh soil blocks all planted um it took a couple days but i got it done um so tomorrow i i have to go and pick up a uh, a carnation order i needed i think about 75 carnations i think i ordered um, I have an order for a carnation lay, for graduation lay, and then I also... So tomorrow I'm picking up the carnation order of 75 carnations. Uh, 25 of them are red, and then the other 50 for the teacher are multicolored. And so I'm picking them up from a wholesale. It's kind of a, it's a wholesale, and it's also um, a DIY event florist in um, a neighboring town. So it's about 25 minutes away to get to them. So I'll pick them up in the morning. And so I'll make the lay, the graduation lay. Um, I I uh, harvested some, I don't know exactly what kind of flower they are. I wanna say Coreopsis, but I don't think they're Coreopsis, but they look like a Coreopsis, but at the same time, they look like a mum or a um, marigold. Uh, that's it for today. Um, I'm glad I finally got this finished. It's been a while and uh, it needed to happen, Mommy. even though it took so long, but uh, we got it done. So, so uh, Tolik is ready to play. So uh, that's it for today. And uh, we finally got this done. I'm pretty excited about that. We got a lot of varieties there. Um, and so yeah, remember my flower friends, keep your hands dirty. Remember to wash them afterwards and uh, like and subscribe. Oh my gosh, I forgot to say this. So um, thank you everyone that subscribed. I think that I, have like 17, over 1,700 um, subscribers now um, over the last week. Uh, I've gained, oh my gosh, like 1,200 subscribers or something like that. A crazy amount, it just like skyrocketed um, over the weekend. And so I think I hit 1,000 subscribers on Friday. And so today I think I had almost 1800 subscribers. So welcome everybody, thanks for joining. And um, I hope you enjoy the content that I'll be putting out. Uh, we have a very long growing season. Uh, so there'll be lots of videos. There'll be lots of videos of what I'm doing in the garden and what we're doing on the Yupik Flower Farm. Remington just handed this to me. Tolik just handed this to me. So he's spraying me. He's spraying me. Okay, so uh, yeah, take care friends. Just gonna hustle some flowers. Go sling those flowers. Flower dealer. Flower dealer.